Oh my god, guys! So today I'm gonna learn how to ride a freaking motorcycle! Oh my god! Let's get to it! During this lesson, yung confidence bini build natin. No? But of course, we consider the safety. Safety first tayo ng mga participants. And we make sure na yung mga participants natin are in good condition. Okay, next is of course, you need to know yung motorcycle. Meron po siyang side stand and center stand. Para saan ba yung mga center stand or side stand ng motorcycle? And tuwing kailan ba ito ginagamit? Okay? Tuwing kailan ba ang side stand? Sandali ang park lang, no? Or pagparada. Pag center stand, pang matagalan. Parang gusto ko laging naka-center stand, pang matagalan. Okay, dun sa marurunong, may proper positioning eh. Kailangan nakaharap po kayo sa motor. Huwag po kayo nakaside, nakaharap. Always apply brakes para hindi gumalaw yung motor. Then, ang gagamitin nyo pong paa ay yung kanang paa, right foot. Siguraduhin po na yung motorcyclo or yung center stand ng motorcycle ay naka-touching uh, the ground. Hindi nyo bubuhatin yung motor ng sobra kasi mabigat mo talaga to. Kailangan may technique. Yung body weight, tulong yung body weight. Then, support lang ng right hand. Pag iba baba sa center stand, pwede nyo buhatin ng kaunti. Pwede nyo gamitin yung weight ng motor. But be sure na pagbaba ng motor, apply ng preno. Yung bigat ng motor, siya yung nagbaba. Very basic but very useful. Iba, different type of motorcycles, iba yung riding position. Diba? Pagka medyo uh, pang racing, medyo nakasubsub ka po. No? Or more on front yung uh, body position mo. But for this type of motorcycle, no? or any motorcycle, you need to know kung saan yung Uh, komportable na posisyon nyo. Na hindi po kayo may hirapan kung kayo ay magmumotor na. So, paano natin makukuha yung tamang posisyon sa motorsiklo? For example po, ay si Ma'am Trina, iti-turn niya ng left, full left, and full right. Kailangan po, yung body niya ay hindi gumagalaw as much as possible. Ang gagalaw lang ay yung braso. Then, umunahin po muna natin na relax ang shoulder, elbow relax din, nakabend. Both knees pointing straight, in line sa leg shield. Then, both feet in line din dun sa, or nakapatong siya sa footboard natin, or sa footless. No? Pagka po humawag sa handlebar, nasa dulo, so yung thumb nyo, ay naka, nakapatong lang. No? So, hindi po ito tama. Kasi hindi siya stable. Madali po siyang matanggal sa manibela. Unless, ikaw ay nakagrip, letter C, no? nakagrip ka po, then at least about one finger clearance dun sa uh, throttle or dun sa handlebar. Okay? Sa grip, sa handle grip. Ano po ang importance doon? Or bakit siya importante? We are using the controls of motorcycle. Brakes, signal lights. Pagka may tumatawid, kuminsan, ano yung ginagamit natin? Busina. What if ang, handle, ang handling mo or yung position mo ay no, nasa wrong position, hindi tama? Hindi ka makaka-apply ng proper. That's why kailangan i-observe mo yung proper. If you need to apply brakes, hindi ka makaka-apply ng brakes ng tama. But if proper, proper braking. Clear po? May hab habit po yan eh. Check lang natin riding position please. Again, let's check yung riding position sa automatic unit. Pakicheck kung kayang i-turn left or right. Release the center stand. You can start engine. Try natin. Start engine please. So right now, my left leg is 
down and my right leg is on the... All right, I'm gonna go now. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. I know how. <laughs> So they're learning how to do the same. So in the beginning, I had to, we had to like stop. We had breaks, and then at the end, on round two, we we got to go all the way to the end and all the way back, which was pretty fun. Yeah. So I'm waiting for round two because I'm pumped to ride again. <laughs> round two. That was fun. <laughs>